What it do guys, Mondermay here, and I thought I'd try something a little different in checking out Space Invaders, a co-op dexterity game by Taito Titronics. It is a one to four player game, ages eight plus. Stop the invasion. So it's pretty cool, it's based on the game, old arcade game. They turn into a tabletop game. Get that out. The other side, not too much. Officially licensed. Suppose that's important. Space Invaders, stop the invasion. Stuff's in there moving around. Looks to take about 30 to 45 minutes. More of the same. Let's take a look at the back. Space Invaders, join the fight and stop the invasion. It's all hands on deck as players either win together or lose together in this collaborative strategy game. Take turns moving your 3D shooter and lining up the best shot. Launch blast tokens at the waves of descending invaders. It takes skill and strategy. You have limited shots, so all players need to coordinate their attack and hit their targets. Destroy all the invaders and take down the UFO mothership before it's too late. Based on the classic arcade game that started it all, play Space Invaders like never before. Can you team up and defeat the alien invaders to claim victory or will it be game over and the invaders win? Launch the blast with the 3D arcade shooter is just a catapult. Fire blast at enemy invaders and into the UFO. That's kind of how it looks, the setup as it were. One to four players, ages eight plus, and it takes about 30 to 45 minutes to play. See, these are worth 10, 20, and 30 points. There's 60 invader cards, 28 blast tokens, 12 player cards, two health trackers, one game board, one scoreboard, one UFO, one 3D arcade shooter, that guy, one turn token, one blast wave card, one armory board and one rule book. So this came out in 2021. So it's a relatively new game. Not sure what I'm really expecting in terms of how fun it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a decent time. My only worry is that it's gonna be a mess to either clean up or set up. Okay, so the manual is at least full color. Wow, this manual is a little, I mean, obviously it's gonna be a little more complicated, but uh, I don't hate it. Okay, the oh, last round in the final assault, the final assault. Scoring, game over, card tokens, and then you have your high scores you can keep track of. Pretty cool. Pretty neat, I wonder what other are in the line. Okay, so this thing is gigantic. Golly, okay. Was this all that crap that was moving around in there? Yeah, I guess it was. Level three. If you attack the UFO with this token, you may launch it up to three times to hit it once. Oh, yeah. So it's supposed to be with the other ones. Yeah, level three, level three, level three. Level two, are these all the same? Oh, these all have different effects, okay. Apply the long blast wave to extend the shot, destroying up to two invaders. If you successfully hit the UFO, add plus two to your health meter. If you hit any invaders, choose one adjacent invader to hit as well, either vertically or horizontally. Then back to start, level two. You may relaunch your token one time. If you do not land on an invader, apply the long blast wave to extend the shot. You may destroy invaders that are shielded and ones that require two hits with a single hit. If you do not land on an invader, place, a, place the launcher where your blast landed and take one shot at the UFO. Pretty neat. Set that one aside as well. Pick this out too. Level one. If you hit the UFO with this blast, mark its damage and relaunch this token for a bonus shot. If you hit an invader, you may redirect the attack to an adjacent invader instead, either vertically or horizontally. Before launching, choose an invader. If you destroy that invader, take a bonus shot at the UFO at the end of your turn. If you do not land on the invader, apply the short blast wave to extend this shot. So those are pretty cool, and I'm guessing play a part in the game as well. Have the deck of cards 
These are probably the invaders themselves. Luckily this thing has enough space that you can put your stuff in. You have your invaders. Let's see the back. Just looks like that. Pretty neat. And each one has different icons. So I wonder if that plays it out a little differently. And even the, the wave things. I guess they're attacks. Some of them have like a shield, longer wave. So, yeah, not too much. Yeah, you really have to be worried about seeing, not like a card game with really interesting effects. It just how they're all kind of set up. So there are different colors to them and they all are worth different points, I believe. Oh yes, they are. It's actually at the bottom of this guy. Whereas the pink are worth 10, 20, and if I'm not wrong, 30. That's good to know. You probably shuffle them up and play them out. Not quite sure, but there's quite a bit of cards there. Set that side. I guess I'm supposed to take these all out of the cardboard. Let's see what's in here. Not even sure what these are. Pegs or something? Has a desiccant, I guess. And the launcher itself. Pretty sure these are feet for the mother ship UFO thing. The launcher. Does this? Okay, this is do... <laughs> the, the arcade stick doesn't actually do anything. But that's it. You just you launch them. I mean, for what it is, it's it's exactly what they tell you it is. It's a launcher and uh, yeah, that was it. I feel like I'm already going to regret opening all this and taking all this out because it's going to be a mess to put away. But uh, let's go ahead and do that. So we have our short wave blast. Long wave blast. What's the difference? Not too sure. Have ones in different colors. Yeah. Not really sure what they are, but they'll all put away just fine. I wish it came with extra plastic bags so you could put these away in. Because I suppose you could just keep them out here loose. It'd be a little more tidy if I didn't have to. Turn token. So we got that. And then we have the armory. The other side just says Space Invaders. Some more threes. And then parts of the mothership. The bonuses. Oh, okay, so these actually give you bonus hits. Pretty neat. I like that. Okay, yeah, no. No, yeah, that's good. Pretty cool. Does that, that does, oh, that'll have to go there. And then top, top. More of the mothership, I guess. I'll try to put that together before the end of the video. The game is played out huge on this three. So fold that one in. There's a second layer, and then the last layer that just says Space Invaders. It has a pre, if I can get that in the shot, pre done three to four life counter and then you can actually push in every single one of these i don't know if i'm supposed to do that yet but if i turn this over you have the same thing but now it's red but with five rows instead of no wait 
still five. I wonder if, if there's any difference. It's one to 20. The other side goes to 20. I, I don't know the difference. Oh, okay. This one only has two lives, so this must be like the hard mode that they pre-made into the actual board itself. It's a pretty heavy duty board. It's thick anyway. I don't know how many folds and unfolds it'll survive, but I imagine it's gonna be pretty okay. okay so the right side goes over here. The left side goes here and all these little bits are connectors to attach the front one in front. Which means I think like that goes there. And I am very poorly putting this together. Wow, okay. Because it looks like it grabs it not here, not there, but there. And so that means it grabs it like this. I guess that, that works to a point. Nice. Yeah, the short one goes here. Long one goes here. Oh, wait. Doesn't go there. Goes there. Come on. Oh, that just tore right into it. That's not great. Now I can always flip it backwards, I guess. Then short end here. Yeah, no, that's that's the mothership. You can kind of kind of tell right there. Yeah, that's good. And then that's the top of it. I don't know how they got it to fit so straight. Mine doesn't sit straight like I'd have to if I moved oh it's supposed to be at the very end of it yeah that totally that totally messed it up okay that worked a little better putting it at the far end of this and then the left corner of that versus the other way I was trying to do it I still feel like I'm not quite centering it out right, but uh, I guess as long as it fits. Well, square isn't quite right, but I'm sure I could play around with it to make it right. It's because I messed up the cardboard <laughs> on that first attempt. Eh, you know what? I think that'll work. As long as you throw the launch your pieces. You know, if they get in there, you're good. It's kind of how you play it, uh, except you use the launcher. Oh boy. <laughs> I imagine I'm going to lose a lot of these. Okay, just real quick, those white knobs, those, those seem to be the health trackers. I think that's what they're called, and they're right there. If you guys want to see this game showcase next on the channel, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. Well guys, that's it for Space Invaders, a co-op dexterity game. If you want to stay up to date on my videos and live streams on both YouTube and Twitch, check out links in the description below, like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining. That's all for now guys, Mondromay out.